Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another episode 3 video. We are back with Alone in the Dark. So, this game is a remake of uh, the old one, maybe. I'm not sure which released back in 2008, maybe. And the guy you see here is Jim Hopper from Strangers Thing playing as a detective again. What a surprise! Uh, so yeah right now I have not activated the mod and uh, I'm playing in this area because uh, the game is mostly based on like uh, indoor uh, alleys and caves and like everything very dark places but this area is a little well lit so I choose to play in this area and right now I'm playing on uh, where is it 1080p and every setting is on like uh, epic quality and without the mod I'm getting around 70 to uh, sometimes dropping to uh, near 60s uh, so yeah uh, like I have to go in there I think but it will be very dark in there maybe or what uh, do I have to go in or what no okay mm, so yeah let's begin the mod uh, the FPS is around uh, 60 to 70 staying around it so yeah let's begin the mod So we're gonna need this mod now we're gonna extract it and copy everything inside then we're gonna go to the installation directory of alone in the dark and after that uh, we're gonna go to again alone in the dark then binaries win64 and where the win64 shipping is located we're gonna paste it right here now after pasting uh, you don't need to do any tweak because uh, we will be using fsr in this game uh, but one thing you have to remember that uh, this game's FSR is very smooth so if you want to sharpen the image a little bit uh, you might want to change the sharpness from your perspective uh, graphics panel like if you have an NVIDIA graphics panel you can follow me this guide or if you have an AMD graphics card you can do that uh, by searching on the internet so NVIDIA users uh, after opening the panel you can click on, click on manage 3D setting then go to the uh, global from the global setting go to the program setting click on the add button search for your game by default if you have run the game it should appear in the list if not then you can click on the browse and then uh, browse the win64.exe uh, in this area uh, in this uh, file uh, location file browser uh, then after that uh, after you find your game uh, just click on the add button uh, okay i'll show you uh, the full tutorial so yeah we're gonna go to the uh, shortcut of the game alone in the dark binaries with 64 and there is the shortcut so after selecting we can do one thing we can uh, sharpen the image a little bit so yeah let's uh, sharpen maybe to up to 50 yeah, 50 percent would be good i think so yeah 50 percent sharpness then we're gonna click on apply this is just an extra additional step it's not necessary for the mod but the game seems to be smoothing out the graphics so that's why we're applying a little bit sharpness that's all so yeah, after applying the sharpness we're gonna run the game no need to do any tweaks or anything because this game uh, we're gonna be using fsr and fsr is present in like every graphics card so yeah mm, we're just gonna hit the continue checkpoint also if you want to use the dlss you will need these files so do not skip the files and yeah everything uh, we are back in the game fps is a little bit better but uh, not that much we are gonna just activate the fsr from the setting fsr quality okay hit apply come back to the game and as you can see it's already like 190 fps here but it will get a little bit lower if i get outside uh, so yeah wait, where is the light uh, let there be light <clears throat> okay we're uh, back at the same place again and uh, fps is still staying around like uh, 120 to 130 previously it was around 60 and everything uh, as you have guys uh, uh, noticed uh, in the scene so yeah what's up jim hopper uh, so this will be it guys uh, if this video helps you uh, you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you face any kind of issue you can comment down below uh, i will try to help you
so yeah i'm just gonna play the game for maybe one to two minute around and then i'll stop recording uh, you guys can uh, skip or watch the video mm, so yeah thank you uh, i'll see you guys in the next one cheers